Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. Uh, this is going to be an Aries reading for April 2021. And of course, there's a whole bunch of Aries out there. This is not going to be every single Aries story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. Um, and like I mentioned, I'm back in, you know, I'm, I'm a college student again, so I kind of have to get rid of, you know, I have to do all my homework first because there's you know, deadlines and due dates, and then I could do my YouTube videos, okay? Uh, but all right, guys. So, Aries, let's do two more shuffles for April 2021. You versus them, Aries, last shuffle, Aries. Okay, don't let pride get in your way. Um, so this could be like a past person is going to be coming back in the month of April, and, you know, your communication is key. You know, your pride could be telling you to reject them. But it kind of goes back to that. Um, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it was always yours. So communication is key. You know, your pride might be telling you to reject them. Um, just talk it out. Talk it out. You know, give it a chance. Uh, here it's saying have faith in your dreams. This could have been something that you've been wanting. You know, is this person to come back and to give you some sort of closure? And um, I feel like they're going to be giving you like an explanation, not just communication, but also explanation to kind of explain to you the reason as to why, you know, why did things happen the way they did? Um, and overall, I feel like it's nothing personal. Okay. I feel like your person has to learn how to speak up, how to open up but there could be some fears that are holding them back yeah what do you need to release so you could be having a um release things spiritually to you know make room for forgiveness because i feel like it's a past person coming back but i feel like you might not really be open to receiving them because, you know, there might still be some things that you need to heal. And it also might just be like everything's up in the air. Like, you know, you're still confused about it. You still want answers about it. And I feel like communication is coming in so you guys can get clarity on it. Okay, so Aries, April 2021, you versus them, Aries, last shuffle. Decisions. So, again, when they come back, it's going to be a choice you have to make or you have to, you know, spiritual growth. Yeah, and this has been in your healing process, um, of this decision that you have to make. New career, and it could be in a job, but it could be with just having to work with this person. You know, not, not really career-wise, but having to balance out having a career, meanwhile, while working with this person. Um, so I feel like that's something that is kind of something that you have to work on also. It's a decision you have to make. This is going to be a healthcare change. You could be trying to change your doctor, um, you know, but I feel like this is a healthcare change in general because relationships affect your health, you know, with this joining in, you are good enough. Okay. So if you guys are feeling like this is not going to work out it can work out here with you're very close to achieving your goal it's the end of an era the end of them not being able to open up the end of them not being able to tell you how they feel um the end of their struggles also so you know they're closing a chapter to certain things meanwhile i feel like you have a decision to make about joining with this person you guys also might be wanting to join like a group like a workout group a career group like um to join in some sort of it could even be like hey a tumbling class type of thing you know like some sort of side hobby yoga you know um and you might be feeling a little bit hesitant or feeling a little bit left out go ahead and join it you know whatever it is um group type of project you're wanting to join join in you are good enough don't don't feel like oh i'm i won't fit in and or anything like that. No, go ahead and try it out. You know, you can't knock something till you try it. And then if it's not for you, it's not for you. You just, you go away. And 
if it's like a karate type of thing or something like that, where it's like an instructor, you just tell them, uh, it's not really my thing. Thank you. I mean, I just wanted to try it out. You know, they can't force you. It's just, you just wanted to try it out. Okay. You are good enough. Don't be afraid to join something. So Aries, April 2021, you versus them. Aries, last shuffle. So, yeah, I feel like you're gaining courage, but that might not just be you. I feel like um, healthcare change is you're going to be happier. You could be wanting to join like a team, you know, um, stuff like that. But I feel like it's your person that's gaining the courage. I always say that because it's like the lion from Wizard of Oz. That's the strength card. It's the lion. So I think of like the Wizard of Oz, how he wishes he had courage. So I feel like this is someone gaining the courage because they have love for you, King of Cups, to come forward and Knight of Swords. Yeah, to come rushing in. And I feel like it has a lot to do with communication. Let's take a look. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. But this is transformations with that death card. There's transformations happening here. Uh, with that Wheel of Fortune, things are changing for the better. And it's because you've been focused on yourself. Meanwhile, the person that you're dealing with, Two of Wands, they want to come. Okay, they could have been very inconsistent with you in the past, right? Very in and out, very player-like, did the bare minimum, would hardly text you, would hardly call you, uh, would hardly, you know... Um, buy you gifts would hardly show that they wanted you but i feel like this is something that they want to do they want to show you king of wands two of pentacles four of pentacles but because of the inconsistency in the past that might be creating some hesitation now where it's like as much as they want to come forward they're a little bit like not sure so they have love for you but with that Four of Pentacles, they're kind of holding back. You could be very focused in on this relationship. But I feel like it's, it's more like you're focused in your job because of this relationship. You know, it's like you're doing a lot of introspection, a lot of working on yourself. Um, but I feel like this person lying to you, being shady, being sneaky, that's changing. You could be dealing with the Leo, uh, Scorpio, any sign for that matter. But I feel like things are changing because you guys can't stop thinking about it. So it's making you change your mind about it. And it's like you have no choice but to move forward. Because it's like this person confuses you. But I feel like you're taking care of yourself and this person is wanting to come forward and be with you. Um, you just might not be seeing it on the surface. Yeah, you could. this person could be kind of an attention whore. But with that Six of Wands, they want to give you attention. I feel like it kind of freaks them out with that Six of Pentacles that you're not giving to them anymore. It's like you're not pursuing them. So they want to offer you something. Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups. I feel like it's just it's stressing them out that you haven't done anything yet. Um, I have a love deck here I'm going to use in a moment. So what's the Seven of Swords, Aries? April 2021, Aries. See, it's like all their shadiness and all that. That, that ended up in a breakup or that just really hurts you with the death card. And so it's like you could be... Let's try that again. You could be wanting to watch this person. What's the death card? Aries, April 2021. But you see, it's like you had to catch them in a lie, break up with them, so that this could be balanced. You know, because you, if you just kept forgiving them and forgiving them and forgiving them, it was just going to keep being the way it was. So you kind of needed to stand your ground and leave them for justice to happen, for karma to happen, you know, for this to get equal. 
Everybody gets theirs, even if you don't see it. You could be dealing with the Libra with the Two of Cups. So it's like you're taking care of yourself. Some of you guys are very unforgiving because you still miss this person, um, even though they were toxic. There could be some addictions here. What's the Devil card? Aries, April 2021. And it's just, there was a lot of disappointments here. There could have been some addictions, um, but there was a lot of toxicity. What was the devil card? What was toxic? Aries, April 2021. Okay, so you could kind of have your wall up. So if this person comes back, you could have your wall up because you're remembering how toxic it was. But I feel like right now is just a period for you to work on yourself. You know, you guys could be overthinking a little bit. Like, you're concerned that this person is going to come in and attack you. So it's like you're being overly defensive. When it's like that's not really the case. I feel like it's just a time when they want to talk to you. You could be dealing with the Capricorn also. What's the Two of Cups? But you see, it's like this person does want to have this relationship. Again, you might not be seeing anything from it on the surface with that four of cups. It could be very stagnant right now. And so, again, I feel like that's making this person want to jump into this because they're afraid to lose you. It's like they're not seeing anything from you. What's the Knight of Wands, Aries person, April 2021? and so right now it's like they have a decision to make you know do they still want to keep living this player lifestyle or do they want you and if they want you they can't keep living that player lifestyle four pentacles aries person april 2021 And this is kind of throwing them off balance. You holding back is throwing them off balance. They're not used to that. They weren't expecting that. Um, that leaves them very disappointed. So they want to offer you something stable. With that Ace of Pentacles, that was something stable. But, I mean, that's not a cup of love. So it's like they want to offer you... What's the Knight of Cups? It's like they want to start off with communication first and then they want to it's like they want to test the waters it's like they want to talk to you first before they decide about whether or not they have a relationship or show love your person's a weirdo <laughs> <laughs> straight out your person's a weirdo okay um <laughs> i'm trying to figure them out here i'm like hmm first is a weirdo overall they're just a weird it's like no they're not weird okay i i know where they're coming from it's like they're a little bit fearful because of the past because of their inconsistent ways it's like they know that this is not gonna it's like they know the ball's in your court Okay, so that being said, because they know the ball's in your court, they want to talk to you, see where you're at, you know, um, before they start coming and show and romancing you, you know? It's like, uh, are you okay? Do you hate me? Or, or, you know, it's like they want to poke at you first to see how you are before they start trying to like, here's a rose, I love you, I, I want to be with you, you know? It's like they know they have to come from a more stable, serious place. You know, they want you to take them serious. So they don't want to come in here like, like you know, oh, thank your mother. You were born. If it wasn't for her, I would never have you. You know, they don't want to come off like that because then they know you're going to be like, oh, oh, come on. Like, get real. Get over yourself. You know, so they don't want to come from romancing you because then they know you might not take them seriously. So they want to come from somewhere more stable, 
more serious from a place of communication first. So they're kind of testing the waters out, okay? They kind of want to see where you're at. And it's the end of an era. You know, maybe in the past, they felt like you were kind of needy or lonely, and, and they poked fun of that. You know, they wanted something serious, and they couldn't really take you serious. And it says you're very close to achieving your goal. Yeah, it may sound kind of twisted that they did what they did to you for their own reason. Uh, yeah, I know it sounds messed up, but I mean, it's the end of an era for them. Um, what do you mean end of an era? Aries person. Yeah, it's like, you know, they could have made you think you made you believe that they had money even. And they didn't want you to fall in love with them because they had money. You know, it's like in that dating field, we all kind of put up, well, well I don't, but I'm 100% myself. But I know people tend to do that in the dating field where they tend to um, put up a character. And then later on, after you get to know that person, you realize that, you know, they're not really that character that they've been portraying. You know, everyone wants to be the best selves when they're dating. You know, like their car smells nice, you know, their good hygiene. And then as you get to know them later on, you know, they might not shower so much. They might not clean their car so much. You know, it's like that. And well, this person, you know, they might have put up a front when they met you. And they realized that I don't want this person just to love me for my front, you know, this, this fake character. I want them to really love me. So slowly but surely, they started to show you the real them and play, like, playing games with you. And you still stuck around. So now it's like, you know, they want to have something real with you, something serious with you. Um, now that it's like there's no more fears. What's the nine of wands? It's like now that you guys have been through all of that, they are now confident that you guys can do this. I don't know. Your person's weird. They're kind of twisted in a way. Um, <laughs> but with this five of wands, you know, they, they kind of assume if you guys talk, it will end up in an argument. Again, this is why they kind of want to test the water, see where you're at before they try something in the love aspect. Aries, you see, three of pentacles. It's like they want to have boyfriend and girlfriend, a relationship with you, but that landed on top of the four of pentacles. They're holding back from that. So I feel like they kind of want to see where you're at. Are you still afraid they'll leave? Are you afraid of being rejected? Do you already have it figured out in your head that this person really isn't going anywhere? Because that's the truth. They aren't going anywhere. You might have met this person when you were at a low point. And it's kind of like, I don't want to, it's this energy of you're kind of out of their league. So they kind of maybe poked at you, poked at you, and to make sure that you wanted them, like legitimately wanted them. And now they know you want them. It's kind of a regret, a guilt, a shame, a disappointment because they want you to. And now they don't really feel good enough. Five, five, and five. Major changes here. Major changes, things being blown up. So now they don't feel good enough. But right here in the center, you know, you yourself, Aries, could also not be feeling good enough. And that's where it says you guys are both good enough for each other. Um, the answers, if you have questions about this person, I feel like they're going to talk to you. They're going to start opening up to you very, you know, more. Aries, April 2021, Aries. One more shuffle, Aries, April 2021, Aries. Love call, you see, so someone does want to talk to you. Um, this is someone expressing love, wanting to let you know. Aries, for April 2021, Aries. April 2021, Aries. So passion, this was a strong sexual connection, possibly, but I feel like the passion still stands. You guys can still have a lot of fun together. Um, you guys still desire each other equally. Here in the center with the hammer here, 
this is you guys both working on yourselves currently. So you guys both could not be feeling good enough and wanting to join this relationship together. And you guys are both working on yourselves. So that being said, you guys are kind of mirroring because you guys are both good enough. I think it's just the communication is all that needs to happen. Um, here with Axe, you guys, you know, they broke up. You guys broke up to stop the pattern. But, you know, now they can't help but watch you because they're wishing for you. They want to date you. And abundance upside down. So they could be kind of in depth right now where they feel like nothing's really going good for them. And this is something that's ending for them. You know, they feel like nothing's going good for them. They feel like they're down and out. You know, they lost you and they kind of lost everything is how they feel. But that's all in their head. This is an end of an era. You know, I feel like that's just their insecurities and their fear talking. You know, because um, without you, it's like they feel like they have nothing. The end of an era, it's like they're afraid. But they're very close to achieving their goal. So, I mean, they're very close to bettering themselves as a person and as getting you back. But they had to prove it. They have to prove it. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. If this resonates with you guys, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.